हेलो एवरीवन आई एम मिहिर हेमंत कुलकर्णी फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग ऑफ के आई कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग ऑटोनोमस कोल्हापुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ डिस्कसिंग अबाउट यूनिट नंबर वन ऑफ मैकेट्रॉनिक सिस्टम्स द कंसेप्ट दैट वी आर गोइंग टू लुक इन टू टूडेज सेशन विल बी अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू द मैकेट्रॉनिक्स what exactly is the mechatronics uh, where it is invented uh, what are the different combinations that we are thinking when we are talking about mechatronics and what exactly is the mechatronic systems so what are the components of mechatronic systems what are the advantages of mechatronic systems and what are the uh, applications or you can say examples of mechatronic systems so these things we are going to discuss in uh, today's uh, interaction so let us start discussing over it so first thing that we can discuss is what exactly is mechatronics so mechatronics is a combination of two words you can see it is mechanism and electronics okay so this word is combined into you can say a mechatronics so mecha is taken from the mechanism and tronics is taken from electronics and as a combination of these two it is mechatronics so this term is actually invented by japanese engineer in 1969 as a combination of mecha and uh, tronics from electronics earlier to this kind of uh, you can say systems the majority of systems are driven by mechanisms so suppose i wanted to do some automation so for that automation i will be designing a mechanism that will be dedicated for that one functionality so that one functionality is fulfilled or that one functionality is implemented using a particular mechanism so uh, it was happening in uh, earlier days but when this mechanism and electronics are integrated with each other that means mechatronics is form uh, we have uh, many mechanical functions and mechanisms which are replaced by electronic ones so we are using a combination of mechanisms as well as electronics in the upcoming system so we are going to discuss about what is the difference between traditional systems that were used earlier and the mechatronic system that were used uh, uh, that will be used uh, in future and which are getting used uh, nowadays so this is about uh, the introduction the definition of uh, this particular uh, mechatronics is uh, the mechatronics is a integration of mechanical engineering electronic engineering computer science and control engineering so it is a combination of multiple branches and these branches are coming together to form mechatronics so it is a multidisciplinary approach that we are following it encompasses the design analysis control of advanced systems involving mechanical components electronics and computing elements so we need to take care of multidisciplinary kind of approach where multiple you can say components or multiple systems will be incorporated using a multidisciplinary approach so this is one of the uh, you can say advantage so it is interdisciplinary in nature so you can see that mechatronic combines expertise from multiple fields to create innovative solutions that blends hardware and software seamlessly so it is a combination of hardware and software so hardware could be the electronic hardware it could be mechanical hardware and software so it is coming together and the blend of it uh, is useful so this interdisciplinary approach allows engineers to address complex challenges effectively so uh, for basic systems we can okay with uh, we are using any one of the discipline maybe mechanical maybe electronics maybe electrical so we can use any one approach and we can get solution for the uh, one of the solution 
uh, or one of the discipline but for complex problems if we wanted to handle multiple challenges then the integrated approach is more useful that we can uh, discuss okay so what are the components of mechatonic system so you can see that uh, the major component we are just starting this particular diagram so these are all components of mechatonic system from the microprocessor because uh, the mechatonic systems are microprocessor based systems okay so the microprocessor based systems are one of the important element which is one of the electronic component uh, plus uh, it has the programs that we are making and based on the programming a microprocessor is working so uh, suppose uh, we are working with suppose one of the cnc machine where nc part programming will be uh, used by uh, cnc machine so that nc part programming will be fed to the microprocessor based kind of con control or microcontroller based control and this will be given as a uh, you can say whatever programs are there based on the program i will be trying to uh, activate actuators so what exactly is the actuator actuator could be a motor actuator could be the light actuator could be uh, maybe maybe the buzzer so there could be multiple types of actuators that i can use okay and these multiple uh, actuators uh, are interacting with microprocessor or microcontroller based system and you can see that suppose i wanted to move a particular slide by suppose 10 mm so initially i have a program of moving a slide by 10 mm okay so this input i will be giving to the actuator maybe a motor we can call it so motor will rotate the rotation of the motor can be given to the lead screw and uh, the lead screw will be uh, you can say uh, moving the mechanical system or you can say slide by 10 mm okay so this is one of the you can say open system approach that we can follow now uh, i am connecting some sensors over here so so sensors could be there are various sensors are available proximity sensors are there uh, you can say moisture sensors are there uh, you can say uh, many many types of sensors uh, you can use it over here uh, so these sensors are used over here these sensors will try to analyze how much is the uh, you can say distance is traveled by this mechanical system so suppose mechanic these sensors are suggesting that it is 9.98 .9 mm suppose 9.98 .9 mm is traveled by uh, mechanical systems so this will turn back to microprocessor uh, again so this will be fed to the microprocessor now microprocessor will be analyzing how much is the actual distance we have given 10 mm as an input it is actually moving 9.98 .9 so it will try to calculate error and error will be 0.02 mm so this will be calculated by the microprocessor kind of system and it will again give another approach or another instruction to the actuators to move it by 0.02 mm once again okay so again these instructions are given to the mechanical system mechanical systems are here and mechanical systems will be again moved by 0.02 mm uh, again this will be changed checked by the sensor and this is the continuously uh, you can say closed loop system that we will be following into uh, you can say uh, any mechatonic system so it is a closed loop system why we are calling it as a closed loop system because uh, the sensors are giving feedback and based on the feedback microcontroller or microprocessor is taking some corrective action and again it is given to the if you compare these two designs the traditional designs are nothing but the designs which are made up from uh, you can say traditional systems such as uh, mechanical hydraulic or pneumatic kind of system okay so mechanical hydraulic or pneumatic systems can be used as a traditional system or you can say mechanical systems are mechanism based systems 
and mechatonic systems are the integrated systems which are based on combination of mechanical electronics and computer technology control engineering kind of approach okay so we have seen it so let us see what are the uh, major differences uh, between the traditional design and mechatonics design so uh, the traditional systems are bulky in nature because uh, mechanisms are involved hydraulics pneumatic packs are you can say bulky in nature so they are bulky in nature on the other hand uh, mechatonic designs are compact uh, more components or moving parts are involved so less uh, more friction will be there uh, less efficient design could be there so these are the uh, some of the features of traditional design but on the other hand it involves uh, fewer components and moving parts and that is why it is having less friction and more accuracy can be achieved uh, using this kind of design uh, the rigid and heavy structures are the part of traditional uh, you can say design on the other hand lighter structures uh, is the advantage of mechatonic design so that is why using while using portable kind of devices it is more preferred to use mechatonic design uh, as compared to the traditional design okay so the control is accomplished by manually here on the other hand for controlling we have microprocessor so microprocessor is controlling and we are supplying a program to the microcontroller as an input Okay. It is less flexible and it is more flexible. Why it is less flexible? Because uh, if there is some change into the component, then we have to make a separate uh, mechanism once again. So, uh, the structure is required to be changed. But on the other hand, in mechatronic system, we have to just change the program. Once we change the program, it is uh, you can use it for the same machine can be used for some other purpose. It is less accurate, it is less accurate and this is more accurate. Uh, as we discussed, it, it has less moving parts, uh, it has uh, you can say less number of components and that is why the accuracy are on a higher side for the mechatonic system. So what are the advantages of mechatonics? So major advantages if we talk about uh, that could be improved performance and efficiency okay the one of the reason behind improved performance could be uh, the efficiency or performance is uh, higher as the design that we are using is integrated design so everything will be on one chip and it will be managed from one location and that is why it will be having more uh, performance or efficiency the enhanced functionality and func uh, flexibility is another advantage as we discussed on the last slide uh, comparing traditional and mechatonic kind of system in which we have seen that enhanced functionality and uh, flexibility because we can implement multiple functionalities into one of the uh, case and flexibility can be achieved by using programming approach okay it has cost reduction through integration so uh, as we can integrate multiple functionalities into one of the uh, you can say process uh, it is more efficient uh, as as far as the cost is concerned uh, earlier case we have to use uh, multiple you can say one functionality for one mechanism that, that kind of arrangement we have to use but here uh, as there is a uh, program which is used and it is uh, uh, controlling the actuators based on that we can have more uh, cost reduction through the integration so this is about uh, you can say advantages of mechatonics so let us see one reflective question uh, you can try to answer this particular question based on the whatever discussions that we have uh, made over here uh, how do you think that integration of multiple engineering disciplines in mechatronics promotes creativity and innovations in solving complex engineering challenges okay so options there are four options by allowing uh, specialized expertise in each discipline to contribute to the uh, comprehensive solution by minimizing need of the collaboration and communication between the team members by uh, restricting the scope of the project to a single engineering discipline or simplicity or by increasing the complexity of project without adding significant value so these are the four options um, try to give answers based on these options i will give you a one minute of time
Yes, so the right answer was option number A. Uh, how we are achieving, uh, you can say, more creativity and uh, innovation is by allowing specialized expertise in each discipline to contribute to the comprehensive solution. So, uh, it is a multidisciplinary kind of scenario. So, uh, we can have specialized into each of the discipline and which will make us uh, more innovative and more creative in, uh, you can say, whatever we do. So finally, let us uh, discuss some of the examples uh, how uh, mechatronic systems are there. Uh, so by starting with one of the mechanism uh, like uh, this robot that you can see over there. So what are the different components that you can see into this diagram? Uh, one of the component could be robotic arms are there, links are there, uh, motors are there, uh, you can say gripper is there. So uh, what are the different tasks which are involved into developing it? So, we have to work with uh, uh, maybe the designing the arms. So, that is mechanical design is required to be performed. So, one team will be working into mechanical design of uh, arms. Another team can be worked into uh, selection of motors, power requirements, uh, wiring part of the motor. Uh, another team can be used to uh, work on uh, different control mechanisms for uh, you can say controlling movement of the robot so it is a programming part and uh, one of the team can be uh, work on optimizing uh, different controlling technology of the robot so uh, this is one of one of the example another example could be uh, the drones uh, which are autonomous uh, in nature uh, and um, which are taking their decisions on their own. So, it has cameras associated. So, it will capture some data on a real time basis. It will analyze that data and it will send some uh, important updates to the ground station. So, uh, based on that, uh, you can see that even developing such kind of systems like uh, drones, uh, we need to uh, develop structure of it. So, mechanical structure is one of the important element of this drone. So, aerodynamics and all those things are required to be taken care of uh, while developing that particular structure. It should be lightweight. So, material selection is also critically here. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we have to uh, uh, select multiple sensors are required to be attached. Uh, this will be collecting real time data. It has to be analyzed by microcontroller or microprocessor based systems. So, for analysis, we need lots of program and we have to uh, transfer this message to the base station uh, by using electronics and telecommunication domain. So, telecommunication domain is required for transferring the message from this drone to the uh, base station uh, for alerting or you can say alarming any disturbances into the uh, you can say whatever that purpose of that drone is. So, these are uh, few examples of mechatonic system there are n number of examples of mechatonic system uh, so you can find these examples at your home uh, in the factories uh, in field uh, in any field you will be finding this kind of application so uh, you can just go through uh, different machines you have in your home uh, just go through the different machines which are used in uh, factories and you will come to know that these systems are mechatonic systems so, with this we will stop here today and see you again uh, in the next uh, lecture uh, for discussing further uh, concepts of mechatronic system. Thank you. Thank you very much.